Lewis rounding to third. Hayes is going to two. And he gets hit. He's Today, May 19th, is the first day where the two Milwaukee teams of the Stoppers Blitzball League, Alex Champanese runners and Michael Penn's fighters, will face off today at Wisconsin Avenue Park. And let's hear the starting lineups. Batting first for the runners will be Captain Alex Champany, your 2023 Captain's League Cy Young. He will also be starting on the mound this evening. Batting second at DH will be Jordan Lorela. Batting third will be Ethan Edgar, playing in right field. Batting fourth will be Marco Statue Petersons. Jack Malloy will bat first for the fighters, followed by AJ Martinez making his Captain's League debut. Then third will be Michael Penn, your 2023 Captain's League MVP. All right, we got the first pitch from Alex Champany. And we got a ball inside on Jack Malloy. That's his sweet spot, Malloy. He likes the inside ball. He's uh, very good at hitting it. I've seen it myself. And Alex, the second, a flamethrower down the middle for a strike. Has a chance to get a walk here. And that clips the strike zone, Alex Champany, with his keen precision he usually has. Forces it into full count. And here we got the deciding pitch of that bat. And it is a walk. Jack Malloy, first hitter of the 2024 Story Hill Stompers Captain's League season gets a walk. That's good to make it a full count for AJ, whose first blitz ball he got back comes down to this pitch, most likely right here. And Alex Champney walks another batter, AJ, for his first ever blitz ball league at bat. To the next batter, Michael Penn, the most dangerous man in the lineup. The pious varsity baseball player who we will have. Alex Champney then throws it down the middle. Flamethrower for the even 1-1 count. Full count. 5-2 pitch on the way. Michael skies it high. It's foul behind the dugout. Alex nearly gets there. However, the ball moves very easily due to the wind. And he just misses it. Pitch on the way. And he smokes the breaking ball. His new breaking ball. He has moved from the knuckle changeup to a more... Normal slider grip, and he's struggling with it early today. Two one. Now Jack Malloy skies it high. This could possibly, if there's a miscommunication, oh, and he's going home. And Alex Champney misses the throw home. Michael Penn rounds third. He stops as Jack Malloy goes on to second after the error. <laughs> As I stated before on the foul ball, the blitz ball moves a lot in the air. It usually moves back towards more of the outfield, and the miscommunication allowed for Jack Malloy to get on base with that error between Ethan Edgar and Alex Champany. Okay, then yeah, that's see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It is 2 0 right now. The fighters are up 2 0 with one out. Alex Champany getting his first strikeout of the season. Now facing the most dangerous hitter, Michael Penn. Michael Penn battles off the low heater. Most likely would have been a strike either way. However, it is now a 1-1 count. Delivers a 2-1 count pitch. Michael again battles it off. Now it's a 2-2. We've been in this situation before. Can Alex Champney capitalize on him being ahead of the count? And oh, that nearly hits the camera and me. I mean, camera's more important, but... <laughs> Michael hits it off of himself, a dead ball, and another foul ball is that bad. I believe that is the fourth foul ball. Michael Penn has been good on the bat-to-ball contact so far. It is a 3-2 count. And Michael Penn... Go! 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 So as a five-runner rule, yeah. okay. Michael Otherwise, Penn and the fighters are now out to pitch to try and, and keep the distance. And Alex 
Champney gets on with a single as Jack Molloy misses a fielding opportunity he had. Now Jordan Laurel is up. And Michael misses the pitch outside for Jordan to get on base. Seems the rust is still coming off the bottom of the car, folks. This has been a dreaded beginning for each team, walking multiple batters. Let's see if Michael can get a strikeout on the new player, Ethan Edgar, for Alex's runners. And that bounces as Ethan Edgar gets his first. Marcos gets walked to get one run for Alex Champagny's runners. Alex Champagny back up to the plate. And it's a 1-0 count as Michael Penn misses low with the fastball. And the slider gets dotted on the outside against Alex Champagny for a 1-1 count as Michael winds up. And he pitches a screwball, which is low and outside, to make it 2-1. The screwball is again used, however, this is accurate this time as it's a 2-2 count. Alex Champagny hits a grounder, rolling out to the outfield. As Alex gets a double. No, you couldn't have. And Jordan Lorelei, he barely hits it, and Mike catches it to make it an out. I believe that is the first out. Of the uh, two? It is a first out of the inning for Michael Penn and the fighters. Ethan Edgar takes the strike to make it a 3 1 count. Ethan Edgar swings on an inside pitch for second strike and a 3 2 count. 2 3 2. Okay, whatever. Oh. Run, run, run! Stay, stay, stay! You know, he's out. Pitch his hand. Pitch his hand. Hey, what's the score? Damn. Michael delivers a pitch, and it's another ball. Marcos gets walked. Alex Champagny up to the plate. We have a something to count. Alex Champagny gets struck out by Michael's slider. No way that should go out there. <laughs> Jordan Lorla, the lefty, is up to replace Alex Champagny after the inning. That was lackluster to say the least. Jordan has a good pitch mix of a fastball, slider, screwball, and for a lefty, he's very Making good sport. at mixing up the right of pitches and locating. John Lorelo is our pitcher for the second inning of this game. Jack Moore swings and misses at a pitch, making it a 5-2 count for Jordan. His first at bat may be a strikeout, contrary to most of the trends of the game so far. And the pitch, and oh, he skids it, burning the worms in the process, and Beloy gets blocked. Swing in this hole. Ah! AJ gets a hit. He's going one. Malloy's rounding to third. AJ's going to two. And he gets hit. He's out. But Malloy makes it home. That's okay. And it counts for That's a run. That's okay. And AJ gets a single. Well, however, he's out advancing on a double. Oh, my God. And Jordan walks Michael Penn with a high breaking ball. How many outs are there? Oh my God. As Jordan is starting to lock in this inning and lock down. And AJ swings at a breaking ball that falls like a waterfall. And boy. 
Lockdown. Yeah. Fuck! Yeah. Dude, what the fuck? Michael delivers and even misses again another inside fastball as Michael Penn strikes him out. 4 2 count here. Marco's looking to get on and handing it over to Champney. Full count now. Pitch is delivered. <laughs> right down the middle. Like Jordan delivers the pitch against night. Michael Penn. As it misses, and Michael right. gets the walk. Yeah, okay. yep. He made a smile at least. Oh, and nice. Jack Malloy swings a pitch that is way outside the zone, however, for some reason, is always in his comfort zone. Seems a man likes to play golf more than he does actual <laughs> blitz ball. And he allows the pitch that is a strike to hit as he goes out. That's out. Looking. Hey, Not a good performance by Jack Malloy so far. Jordan looks for the strikeout. And Jordan gets the strikeout with the breaking ball pitch. Michael Penn has been the pitcher of his team for the entirety of the game. Let's see if now he is able to close it out with a win. First pitch is delivered, and Alex Champagny slaps it. Nearly the same as AJ as he rounds first, goes to second. We have a wrestling match between AJ and Alex on who is out or not. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors right now. Put the gap in rock, paper, scissors, and help. Hey, it's gotta be good. Oh, I got you, I got you. Yeah, you go. Whoa! No, you have to stand up. Oh, Whoa! Y'all went so fucking late. Marcos, you gotta finish it off, alright? Wait. Go. Woo! God fucking damn it. In the second. <laughs> Jordan Lorla oh, answers back yeah. with a home run That's a in the trees. As it now oh is a one run game, six to five. Michael oh Penn's fighters are still up. Jordan Lorla has some choice symbols and actions for Michael Penn as he rounds the bases. That was a smash home run. Good shit. He fucked you up. Uh, Marcus Peterson, I believe, is the next person to bat after Ethan Edgar. Oh, and Ethan yes. Edgar, Run, he hits a single on oh, the inside of his bat. Run, Ethan run, stay. Run. Oh, Ethan is running. As he gets his second <laughs> yes, off the Malloy throw Come that on. goes off course. Hey, Malloy has not been the Golden Glove fielder he was a season ago. We need some answers for that. As it is now a one run count. Alex seems to be locking in here as Michael winds up and throws it. Alex hits it down the line and it is fair. Oh Ethan God. Edgar is going go, home. Go, go. God damn it. Go, man. go. Hey, no, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Ethan. Ethan makes it home as Malloy decides to eat the ball until the last moment. As it is now a tied game 6-6, six, six. Michael Penn needs to lock in here against Jordan Laura, who last time had an absolute nuke off of him going into the trees. It misses. And he again throws a heater, most likely above 85 miles per hour for another ball. As Marcos, the statue Peterson is up, and this may determine the game, as he has three walks so far. And his plate discipline has been excellent. Michael, this is a deciding pitch. The 5 1 count. Marcos the Satchel Peterson up. As Marco swings at a ball, and the statue has been unveiled, the statue does move, in fact. No, no, no. If it's close, you have to at least follow it. Be like me. There's a full count to decide the game. That's a walk here. The runners win. And Michael misses it. The runners win on Marcos the statue Peterson's fourth walk of the game. Jordan Lowella scores the game winning run as a walk-off walk. -off walk.
The runners will begin their season number one on the power rankings as they complete the comeback against the fighters here in game one.